Last spring in Yellowstone was relatively cold and the snow was slow to melt. Even the sandhill cranes got here too early to find much to eat. Many Yellowstone bison, especially the females and the young, leave the park in the winter and return in the spring. The northern herd follows a well-worn path from the Gardner, Montana area to Yellowstone's Lamar Valley. The path takes them along the edge of blacktail ponds. These ponds can be a treacherous place for bison. It is not uncommon for full-grown bison to fall in and die as the banks are so steep it can be impossible for them to get out. In the spring, when the bears come out, these dead bison provide much needed protein. And the wolves benefit too. Early one spring morning, a herd of bison was making its way around blacktail ponds. It was so early in the spring, the herd only had one newborn that couldn't have been more than a day or two old. As the herd made it around the ponds, a few chose to take a wet shortcut. But most of the bison went around the water. The newborn calf's mom led it around the pond. As it rounded the edge of the pond, the newborn baby bison was pushed into the pond by a yearling bison. Maybe it was a jealous older sibling. The newborn's mother knew the baby was in trouble, but wasn't equipped to do anything about it. The water had just melted and the air temperature was well below freezing. An adult human can survive at this low temperature for about 15 minutes. But a newborn bison has less fat and more surface area than a human. At this point, it has been in the water about 12 minutes and it was getting very tired. One effect of hypothermia is muscles stop working, so it was becoming increasingly difficult for it to get out. Adult bison have failed to get out of this pond and have frozen to death. I guess it is a good thing that baby didn't know that because suddenly it mustered all of its strength and actually got out. It was pitiful looking, but it was out. It must have been one tough little baby. Its mom came and licked it a little and allowed it to nurse. Mom decided it was time to leave, but had to return to her baby several times to coax it to start walking. But it finally did start walking in the freezing cold air.
and had all the rest of a sunny day to dry out. 